Nobody wins when the family feels. What do you think, bro? That's why I stay with my niggas from 10 years and 10 years plus. Bro. I, don't, I don't really try to surround myself with too much new people, but I fuck with everybody, though. Uh, I see an out close curtain drenching. I just might get up burger. Oh, for the permanent shit got me nervous. Uh, spot her out, uh, pack them up. Yeah, blue hunters, oop, rack them up. And that breaking news happening in Queens. Two people shot and killed on a residential block. Four hours in Queens, three people gunned down in two separate shootings not too far from each other. <laughs> That's my baby son. He would be 22 this Friday. His friend pick him up. And that's the last I've seen of him. With the stereotypes that's going on, nowadays when you're a rapper, you could do everything but get your chain took. And if that is the case, your fans expect you to crash out to get your stuff back. I mean, that is what you put in the lyrics majority of the time. So can you blame them? But if you don't crash out and get your stuff back, your audience may not look at you the same. Especially as we mentioned, you promote this in your music. But say you do crash out and get caught, that career is gone. You get in jail and realize not only was your career gone, but I threw my life away for a materialistic item. Did you really want to go that far? Was it worth it? Or was your pride? But now let's throw a curveball in the story. Imagine if you wasn't a trigger man. You got your homie doing it for you guys' reputation in your inner city. He get caught last week, November 16, 2023. The feds named him a leader of your game and sentenced him to two life sentences for taking two people life broad daylight. Both scenes was on camera, all in retaliation because your chain was taken by the rivalry game. But fam, that's what we have here today. Two alleged games from Queens, New York, taking penitentiary chances, all for a quote unquote rap, indulging in social media beef, taking the life of others, putting regular civilians at risk of losing their life in the process. And sometimes it's just as simple as getting his chain taken. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. According to the feds, in Queens, New York, YTB stands for Yellow Tape Boys. And the guy to the left is Christopher Acevedo. And according to the FBI, he is a gang leader of YTB. And the guy to the right with half his face chopped out, according to the feds, is a YTB music studio artist whose chain was taken, the exact chain you guys see on his neck. Allegedly, that artist is the guy that go by the name Shawnee Bin Laden, who authorities claim is a leader of YTB as well. He's a drill rapper who gains millions of views on YouTube alone. Having tracks like Whole Lot of Wickery, released two years ago, 1.8 million views and counting. Let me swerve it, uh, pound me a perk and I boot up. I'm in the woods and I stay with my Buddha. Now we're told me I'm drenched with Buddha. 30 rounds. 11 days ago, he released a track called Rack Em Up with over 24,000 views and counting. Spot her out, uh, pack em up. Yeah, blue hunters, oop, rack em up. Now this photo right here is allegedly a photo of Shawnee Bin Laden rocking the YTB chain a few years back. So now, how do we know this family? Well, remember the guy Christopher Acevedo? On November 16, 2023, a federal jury in Brooklyn had returned a guilty verdict and a sentence against Christopher, the leader of Wood City, a violent criminal enterprise who was used the names Yellow Tape Boys and YTB. He received not one, but two life sentences. Let's explain why, according to his indictment. He was charged in murder in aid of racketeering and causing death through the use of a firearm in connection with the August 26, 2019 fatal shooting of a rival gang associate. But before we talk about these shootings, let's talk about the indictment on why these shootings went down. Freon Peace, the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, had announced a verdict with this quote, how senseless it was for Christopher to callously take a human life to maintain and burnish his status as a leader of a violent street gang whose members felt insulted by the taking of a piece of jury. The evidence at trial established that since at least 2010, the Wood City gang has been engaged in racketeering activity, including murder, drug, and trafficking, the various forms of fraud and identity theft. Christopher was the founder and leader of this gang, according to this indictment, which was so named because many of his members, Woodhall Avenue in Jamaica, New York, allegedly, they label is called that as well, where artists of the group released their music. The indictment stated, since at least 2011, Wood City has been involved in a war with rival Snow Gang, which is another violent gang based in Queens. 
During this period, members of Wood City and Snow Gang would regularly taunt and insult each other using social media platforms and phone calls. On August 26, 2019, members of Snow Gang, including one of its leaders, robbed the gold YTB chain from a high-ranking member of Wood City while he was at a recording studio in Queens, who we later identified as Shawnee Bin Laden. As a leader of Wood City, Christian was expected to retaliate for the chain snatching to protect his gang reputation. Christian and other Wood City members allegedly drove to Snow Gang territory and spotted a vehicle with the Snow Gang leader who had robbed the chain and other members and associates of Snow Gang. After following that vehicle to the front of a deli in the vicinity of 140th Avenue and Springfield Boulevard, Christian pulled alongside the vehicle and fired a dozen shots, striking the driver, David Hushin, who lost his life on the scene. May he rest in peace and love of condolences to his family. Now the real reason Christian had two life sentences, because an hour later, they spent back to make sure they target was deceased, spraying off another dozen rounds into another vehicle. From the mother of one of the two men shot and killed on a street in Queens, and witnesses tell us the suspect sped away after opening fire, but then drove back at one point to make sure that the victims were dead. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan has the latest from Rosedale. We spoke to a mother of one of those victims in the hours after she learned that her son was murdered. She's full of grief and also questions, fearing that her son's murder might be connected to another. That's my baby son. That's my son. Who oh, killed my son? Carmen Grantwyth is living through any mother's worst nightmare. His friend picked him up. And that's the last I seen of him. She last saw her 21 year old son Antoine Folks at seven Monday evening. It wasn't until two this morning that she got word that he was one of two men inside this Kia on 255th in Rosedale, Queens, shot in the chest and killed by a shooter in a white SUV. We heard gunshot. We thought it's firecracker. One witness telling investigators that the SUV circled back, checking to see if the men were dead in this clearly targeted shooting. And Carmen believes her son might have been a target earlier in the day. It was with another guy. Another guy get killed. That's what I heard. That shooting around four Monday, another white vehicle driving by, shooting into a car at 140th and Springfield Boulevard. A 21-year-old also murdered. Carmen says that victim was a friend of Antoine's that he was upset about when she last saw him. He, he was just mourning. He was just crying. Now she's left with just memories of her son, who's the father of a one-year-old. Antoine himself set to turn 22 this Friday. This is hard. It's very, very, very hard. In both cases, police say that they are looking for some type of white vehicle, but so far no arrests. As for Carmen, she says she has no idea why someone would want to hurt her son. Christian was arrested about a month later, and as we mentioned, fast forward to almost four years later, November 16, 2023, he was sentenced to two life sentences. And far as Shawnee Bin Laden, he's still rapping. And this is what he had to say just last year in regards to what YTB means to him. Plus, uh, everything, bro. That's why I stay with my niggas for 10 years and 10 years plus. Bro. I, don't, I don't really try to surround myself with too much new people, but. I fuck with everybody though. You know. How did you and all the guys come around? Like, like me Aura? And my, me and my nigga? Yeah, like Aura, yeah, yeah. Like, how did all y'all kind of. We grew up together. We all from the same block. Okay. Honestly. Aura was from, he's from Elmont, but like, we got mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's my bro though. I mean, he been fucking with us since like we then there came out too. So, right. He was there for all that. So, he one of us. That's my nigga. Who started doing music first? Started doing music first? Yeah. <laughs> I was the first rapper. <laughs> My shit, I ain't gonna lie. I was the first rapper, honestly. But word, I've been rapping. My son 450 was rapping. Though. That's how we right. formed YTB though. Mm -hmm. 450 been rapping. Though. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my boy. Without me and Ford, would be no YTB. That's who I formed YTB with. Shawnee Bin Laden been on the run, doing a tour with Babyface Ray, but he ended up having a warrant for his arrest while on tour in East Garden City for criminal possession of a firearm. He was given his sentence on 8-6-2023 with the earliest release date of 12-20-2024, which is just in a year. He since released some photos while in jail with the title, Everywhere I Go, I'm Gucci. Hanging with the wrong crowd, you can lose your life. Taking something that don't belong to you, you can lose your life. But it's appropriate to say you can lose your life by being tricked off the streets within your own camp. Christian got two life sentences for a reputation. The dude he did it for, still rapping. He'll be home next year. Are you sitting in jail? Threw your life away for nothing, really. 
Family, let me know how you guys feel about this one. Two New York game rivalries, according to the FBI, going at it since the early 2010s. Social media, robberies, and broad daylight shootings, resulting in people losing their life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Fam, I'll catch you guys on the next one.